Welcome back to Little Victims, and today is our second year anniversary! Woohoo! Yes, it's true. Little Big Thumbs has been here for two whole years and we're excited to celebrate with you in this video today. Today we are going to be talking about our favorite videos. That's right. And Harriet, what are we doing at the very end of the video today? This draw here and whoever we draw gets a copy of Flotsam Float. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And we're so excited that throughout this video today, we're going to be having some friends pop in between our, our little clips uh, to, to join in on the celebrations in their own special ways. Do you remember the very first video we did for Little Big Thumbs? That was two whole years ago. How old were you then? Five. Five years old. That's right. That's right. Do you remember the game that we talked about in that first video? I spy Diggin. I spy Diggin. Find the game. And I loved... So much about that. Our videos didn't look quite as polished as they do now, but it was so fun. And I remember when we were talking about our favorite little toys that came in the box of, of I Spy Diggin. Do you remember what your favorite was? Probably like donut or something. Yeah. I don't know. I was younger back then. That's true. That's true. <laughs> What's your favorite toy in the, the bowl? Butterfly. The butterfly? Can you find a butterfly? Josie, what's your favorite toy in the bowl? Um, doggy. I remember uh, mentioning to, to you and Josie that there was a toilet in there. And Josie said, toilet? toilet? In the cutest little way that I still laugh about today. Do we still own that game? Um, yeah, it's right over there. I see it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, we should play that later today, shouldn't we? As part of our celebration, we should play the games that we remember best. Whether you've got... Little players. Little players. Or big players. Little players. <laughs> make sure that you keep playing games that make your thumbs go way up. Thank you, Ambie, and your lovely family for trying our tagline on for size. Now, Ambie is the author of the book Board Game Day, which, which we spent some time with and made a video for uh, a number of months ago. And also, Ambie is a co-host of a great podcast and a really cool YouTube channel as as well. What would you feel about maybe someday making a podcast of our own? My own podcast yeah. would be about how to apply makeup and it would be and some days I'd be singing and showing them how to sing. Like nice. Singing class. My podcast would be about my favorite games and singing beautiful songs and me teaching other people how to play games. It's your favorite. What? Well, I don't know. I would probably do a podcast about board games. Podcasting, I think, would be tricky because you can't script it the same way you I can script some of these videos. Most of the videos that I do, when you two aren't sitting here with me, I, I script everything out for myself. So it's so I know exactly what I'm going to say, so I make sure I don't forget to say anything important. But one video that we made um, that, that was not scripted at all was your five favorite games. Of those five games, I would say the two games that we play most often are... Inspector Mouse, this great deduction game from Haba, which is actually, it's actually our most viewed video ever that we ever put out. Look. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's Yummy Yummy Monster Tummy. Yeah. Yeah, can we play that? We will, well, you know what? Once we're done making this video, we'll totally play Yummy Yummy Monster Tummy. Yeah, because we, we haven't played it in a oh, long, that's cool. long time. And the other game that we frequently still play from Josie's List is The Color Monster, which is from De Vere Games. And it's all about talking about our, our feelings and our emotions and putting words to those feelings. If you were to choose, if you could only keep one game between The Color Monster and Inspector Mouse, which one would you keep? Um, um, Color Monster. Color Monster, okay. It's back to now. Ooh, ooh, we have a differing opinion. <laughs> Actually, Color Monster. Now, if we were going to make a top five list of board game YouTube channels, there are so many great ones to choose from, but I think one that most definitely would make our list is... Foster the Meeple! Foster the Meeple! 
tell which one of us is the little thumb and which is the big thumb to celebrate little big thumbs two year congratulations anniversary congratulations jp congratulations and family. jp and family it's time for us to duel thumb war thumb one war. two three four, four. I, I declare, declare a thumb, thumb war, war. Ah! <laughs> One, two, no! three. You didn't do it. I did it. Champion. Like, look at this. It's not even a fair comparison. Whether you've got little players. Or big players. Make sure that you keep playing games that make your thumbs go way, way up. up. Thank you, Jeff and Jamie, for being a part of our celebration in this video. And if you're not following Foster the Meeple, make sure that you get on that. We're, they are one of the fastest growing YouTube channels in the board game sphere, and we're so happy that they also live right here in Nova Scotia. They make, they make these board game videos look so fun and easy, and so if you're not following them, make sure you do that right now. Now, one of the things that Jamie and Jeff do on their channel every now and then is a board game challenge. Now, you watch a lot of, yeah, that's right, you watch a lot of challenges on YouTube, but not always about board games. Um, if there was... Yeah, we watch, like, eat a disgusting food or get slime dumped on your head. We're not gonna do a slime challenge. No way. Would you wanna do, I guess that's the first question, would you wanna do a board game challenge? Yeah. Yeah? Awesome. Maybe like blindfold each other and try to guess what a, what a game piece, what game a, a, a piece is from. What do you think about no, that? No, I no, know. I know. Okay. We, we set up one of our pools and then we swim with a blindfold on and then when we come out with a game thing in our hand, then we guess what it is. Oh man, that sounds like a crazy fun challenge. If you would want to see Little Big Thumbs do some board gaming challenges here on the channel, let us know in the comments of this video. Whether you've got big players or little players, keep, keep playing, playing games, games that, that make your, your thumbs, thumbs go way up. Thank you, Stephanie, Constantinos, and the whole Vesuvius Media crew for being a part of our celebration video today. Now, if you've never played a game from Vesuvius Media, they make so many great games, but if we were to make two quick recommendations that are great for little players and big players, I would suggest maybe checking out Dwarves Winter. Dwarves Winter is a, it's a tower defense game, but it's really accessible and family friendly and uh, so much fun. And that's a game that we're gonna play very soon here at a Little Big Thumbs. The other one is Catapult Kingdoms, which we love because it makes the dog want to eat the little toys in it. It makes the dog want to eat the little toys? It's now called, like in store, if you were looking for it in the store, it would be called Catapult Feud. And that game is so fun. It's one of the most epic dexterity games around. You don't have that game. This is Catapult Feud. This has got a different name on the box. Now, speaking of dexterity games, one of the, the, the things that maybe sets Little Big Thumbs apart from other channels is, is our over-emphasis and over-enthusiastic support of dexterity games. Uh, starting in January with Kabuto Sumo. Do you remember Kabuto Sumo? Yeah. Yeah, that bug sumo wrestling game. That uh, was a golden thumb. That was a golden thumb winner. You're right. You're right. And it was also the very first dexterific video. And and ever since and ever since that time, uh, about a third of our content has been focused on dexterity games. Now it all started, as we said, with the great uh, Kabuto Sumo, but we've also covered awesome dexterity games like the classic Gulo Gulo, the the playful flicking game Turtle Splash, and uh, most recently, Flotsam Float. And we'll have more coming in 2023. That's right. More dexterity games, more dexterific content coming your way in 2023. Whether you've got little players or big players, make sure that you keep playing games that make your thumbs go way up. Thank you to the Kids Table Board Gaming and Burnt Island Games team for being part of our celebration today. We love Kids Table Board Gaming. We say that, that we're all about finding great games for little players and big players. And Kids Table Board Gaming is, is uh, many of their games, is exactly all about that. So that's why we love them. We've got two right here, Bugs on Rugs and Creature Comforts, one of the best games that was made in the last year. And pretty soon we're gonna have our own copy of Power Plants, which we made a video for when that game was on Kickstarter, and we can't wait to play the final copy in the coming weeks and months. 
So Harriet, we were talking earlier about our very favorite videos and you said that your favorite was, do you remember? Stocking Stuffer. And what did you enjoy about our Stocking Stuffers video? We covered five games that were great to give as Stocking Stuffers. That was just a few weeks ago. What was your favorite game of those five? I think Loose Caboose or Windmill Cute Secrets. Really? That's great. Loose Caboose or Windmill Cute Secrets. And did you, is that your favorite video just because? Because it's the newest video and because it's Christmassy. <laughs> okay. Because you love Christmas and we're in December right now at the time we're filming this. So Christmas is on your mind. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Meow, meow. Thank you to all of you who have joined us for this two year anniversary celebration. It means so much to, to all of the lovely folks in the board game community that sent in videos to celebrate with us in their own special way. And now to wrap up today's video, we need to figure out who has won the copy of Flotsam Float, the golden thumb winner from our previous video. So Harriet, Mix it, mix them up there, mix them up. Whoa, yeah. Let's find out who has won the game. Cat Adams. Cat Adams, you've won the copy of Flotsam Float. So, uh, so we'll we'll drop a note in our previous video so we can connect and find a way to get the copy of this game to you. So. Thank you so much for everyone who participated in this giveaway. Thank you for everyone who has joined us for these two years. Thank you to everyone who has joined us recently. Just thank you, thank you, thank you. It's so great to have you along for the ride. Harriet, I love you. I love you too. And until next time, whether you've got little players or big players, make sure that you're playing games that make your, your thumbs, thumbs go, go way up. up. Bye, Bye for now. now.